Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Shai, Bashom Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom, Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of quick and important information being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. Italy may lose half a million jobs. Study. So this is an article that was uploaded from RT.com, as you see up there. And here, in the latest news concerning Italy, Italy may lose half a million jobs. Now, while it says may, may lose a half a million jobs, I believe Italy is more likely to lose a half a million jobs. And the reason why is because of gas shortages. You know, ever since the United States, you know, told Europe to put those sanctions on Russia's gas imports, in which, um, in case if you didn't notice, the reason why Europe put sanctions on Russia's gas imports, it was really to to um, to attack Russia economically, bringing it down economically. Because, in a matter of fact, when you do your research on history, a part of how the Soviet Union was brought down. It was brought down economically, okay? And a matter of fact, to show you that the, the Soviet Union was brought down economically, one of the things that the United States did when, when, when they was at war against Russia, when, when Russia was the Soviet Union was, was that the United States of America, they hired an agent provocateur. Okay, they hired an agent provocateur in order to attack Russia and and basically to to cause their economy to implode from within. You know, so for those wondering about economic hitmen, economic hitmen go way back, even before the era of the Soviet Union. And the United States have been using economic hitmen for decades. Okay, now World War II happened back around the 1930s. Or I even dare to say um, World War II has happened around the 1940s. And did not end until the 1940s. But one of the ways that the United States brought down the Soviet Union was by hiring an economic hitman. You know, in, in which uh, that's how, that's a part of how the Soviet Union of Russia was brought down. It was brought down economically. So here we see Europe attempted to, to uh, try that again. And well, it it didn't work in their favor. I'll just say that you know it ended up backfiring on them. Their their tactic. So here it says, um, natural gas shortage will sh will stifle economic growth. Analysts warn. You see this time. It's not going to be easy to bring down Russia economically because the Lord is dealing with Russia. Okay? And that's presuming to the book of Ezekiel, the 38th chapter. Now, if we come over here, right? Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. It says, The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, though he bring his judgment to light, he fell of not. But the unjust knoweth no shame. So every morning, doth the Lord bring his judgment to light. You know... I mean, like, damn near every day when I wake up, 
there's always something new happening and, and, and you know Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is behind it all so hey all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah you know for, for executing judgment and, and making known his judgments to, 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 to us brothers man because all these things that are happening to Iraq it, it's all signifying the end of Edom's empire so with that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.